Man, today was such a tough day. Today was such a tough day. I woke up late. Well, because I was out chasing auroras and uh, then the day was so busy that I literally didn't even have time to go downstairs and have a cup of coffee. But it was worth it. It was worth it. You'll see. three times now and today I want to tell the story of how I saw it each time but ever since I was a kid I was fascinated by auroras like these northern lights I was so like attracted by them that I even wrote a story about that when I was a little kid so when I first came to Estonia it was in 2014, August, and I had a flatmate called Ennis from Turkey and we became really good friends. He was an exchange student. So when he was leaving by the end of the year, we made a plan to do the little Euro trip together, like a northern Scandinavian trip. And he was also fascinated by the northern lights. So we made a plan to go to Tromsø which is one of the northernmost cities in Norway. We went there and we went up this hill with a lift and we saw the northern lights. It was amazing. It was something truly out of the world. Even though if you see in the pictures all the colors, you couldn't really see them through the naked eye. You would just see a, say a milky, hue just dancing in the sky but nevertheless it was fascinating it was amazing and i'm so glad that i did that so that was number one 2014. um two years later i was in the estonian island of hiuma i was there on the invitation of my really good friend there uh, she was from the island and she invited a bunch of our uh, us class fellows to visit her and roam around the island. So I was on the island and all my friends had gone to this nightclub by the sea and I was just getting bored there a little bit. So I just took my camera and then started taking photos and then I took a photo of the sea and then I realized, hmm, man, this looks like northern lights because you couldn't really see with the naked eye unless you, you took a photo with a, with, a, with a really large shutter speed. So second time was an accident. I saw the Northern Lights unintentionally. But that was fun. I mean, the Estonian island of Huma is so amazing. It's so nice. And if you ever get a chance, then just do visit that. Third time was yesterday. So I came to find out through one of the Facebook groups um, in Estonia that uh, tonight is going to be really good solar activity. And the best thing was that there was no cloud cover last night. <clears throat> and the temperature was so amazing. I think it was like upwards of around 20 degrees, which is amazing for Estonia. It's almost unbelievable to have this kind of warm, night in the middle uh, by the end of September and the middle uh, and the start of October so that was so amazing so we went out there I went with a friend and it was just amazing it was just so amazing we went to the Tilgu Saddam which is the Tilgu harbor a little bit outside of Tallinn so there was no light pollution 
and I started taking photos and it was just so magical. There was a time when the activity like like it like it went to a peak and I could almost see the, the lights dancing in the sky. And yeah. It was so fascinating to see that I yeah, I, I don't think, I, I think it's just something that you have to see to understand. It's something that makes you almost believe that there is something so big, something so much bigger than us out there, something so grandiose, something so magnanimous that it's just out there playing dancing lights in the sky. So yeah, that was my story. I'm so glad I went there, even though the whole day I was pretty sleep deprived, but I'm so happy. If you get a chance, visit Estonia or Norway or any place you can see the Northern Lights.